How to get the best color from your machine vision camera. In past projects, color images just didn't look right. The colors looked too dull and dark or too white and washed out. That's because the camera needed to be white balanced to the light source as well as gamma and color corrected. We're going to adjust the camera settings to get the most accurate color out of the camera. In this video, a Bosler ACA 4600 is used. Most of the settings are valid for all machine vision cameras. However, the Bosler ACE series has the ability to adjust six color channels instead of the standard three red, green, and blue channels. An X-Rite color checker is used to compare images to the target colors. The color checker lists the standard RGB color space values that the camera should create for each square. First, the exposure must be set so that the brightest white square is not overexposed. The brightest channel should average 242. In the example, the green channel is the brightest. Other channels will be lower. White balance will bring the red and blue channels up to 242. Some cameras will automatically white balance. Turn off auto white balance. Amplify the red channel so that it averages 242. Select the red channel, then increase the balance ratio until the bright white square has a red average of 242. Then select the blue channel, increase the blue balance ratio until the bright white square has a blue average of 242. The gray squares should now have the same amount of red, green, and blue but the gray squares are too dark. The camera needs to be gamma corrected. The camera measures light linearly, but our eyes detect light non-linearly. Gamma correction curves the linear camera values to match human vision. Enable gamma correction, then enter 0.4545 as the gamma value. This is the starting point if the gray squares are still too dark, lower the value. If they are too bright, raise the value. The average intensity of the gray squares should be 242, 200, 160, 122, 85, and 52. Now to color correct the red, green, and blue channels. Before starting to color correct, the process raw setting must be enabled. Scroll to the color adjustment selector. Select the red channel. The red square on the color checker should average 175, 54, 60. The hue setting will balance the lower two channels. Change the hue so that the green and blue channels are the same proportions as the color checker. That is, the green channel should be slightly less than the blue channel. The saturation will push the green and blue channels lower. Increase the saturation until the green is 54 and the blue is 60. The red square should match the color checker target red square as closely as possible. Note that the red channel is not 175. Unfortunately, increasing the red channel up to 175 will change the white balance, so we're done correcting red. The process of correcting the green and blue colors is similar to adjusting red. For green, adjust the hue so that red and blue are the same. Then adjust the green saturation until red and blue are equal to 70. For the blue square, adjust the hue so that the red and green channel values are about equal. Green should be slightly more than red. Adjust the blue saturation until red is equal to 56 and green equals 61. There is a difference between correcting the red, green, and blue colors compared to correcting cyan, magenta, and yellow. Adjusting yellow hue will balance the brightest channels, red and green. To match the target, the red should be 
about 231, the green should be 199. Adjusting yellow saturation will lower the value of the blue channel to 31. Adjusting the magenta hue will balance the red channel to 187 and the blue channel to 149. Adjusting the magenta saturation will lower the green channel to 86. The hue adjustment for cyan will balance the green and blue channels to 133 and 161 respectively. Saturation will push red away from green and blue to a target value of 8. Changes to the camera settings are now complete. Here is a comparison of the results. The image out of the camera is pretty close to the target. The overall saturation is just a little low, but the results are very good when compared to the start. The steps were set the exposure so that the white square has an average brightness of 242. White balance the red, green, and blue channels so they average 242 in the white square. Gamma correct so that the gray squares have values 242, 200, 160, 122, 85, and 52. Enable raw processing of the pixels and adjust the hue and saturation for each color. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe.